were you there? How, how did you get there? What attracted you to Ahmedabad to give it such an important part in your film? I originally had an idea to do a film about kites. Uh, my uncle's blue kites when I was a kid. And it was just a very special thing to see them looking up at the sky and holding a piece of string and forgetting all their tensions and their problems around them. And I was told that Ahmedabad is the place for a kite festival. So on January 14th every year they mark the change of a seasonal holiday by celebrating and flying kites. And uh, when I went there the first year and I just witnessed the kite festival, it was just absolutely spectacular. It was something that unified a city that had gone through a lot of tragedy in the past with national, natural disasters and with uh, uh, religious conflict. And this kite festival was something where everyone participated together. And there was an enormous amount of resilience and power in the city. And uh, we shot in the old city of Ahmedabad. There are two parts to Ahmedabad, the old city and the new city. And the old city is just a remarkable place that runs on a sense of faith. It's, uh, it's just the more you give it, the more you receive from And I just, I fell in love and I spent three years researching the film. And it, it was just something that changed my own life. So, so um, eventually it was also a lot of the inhabitants uh, who participated in the film and who, who you've portrayed, in my view, very beautifully. Uh, but it also has a very interesting story of who, in the end, was your main cast and how you found the two who are standing next to you. I can let them speak on that. Okay. <laughs> um, Prashant had a very uh, unique auditioning process. I met him. And it was not so much, okay, here, here are the lines, do the scene, and let's see how you do it. It was actually just a conversation. And then we were, I live in Bombay, so he had come to Bombay to see fine actors. And, uh, and then we were just walking around the streets and I'd be playing with the kids and he'd be shooting it. So I think somewhere uh, he was uh, trying to find Priya closer to Priya. I don't think I was supposed to act much. I think I was supposed to be slightly closer to who she is. And then, um, and that's pretty much what he's done with that entire film. It's surprising because I read the script right at the beginning of the film and then I never saw it till the time we were shooting it. And he said that, you know, if you really get the character, then forget the lines. Uh, chances are that if you're in that situation, and if you are getting what Priya is, then it'll be the same. What I've written and what you're saying will be the same. And you cannot believe it. Like, I think 90% of his film is very close to the script that he had. And we've not even seen the script once it started shooting. So, I mean, yeah, of course, I've jumped into what the way we did it. But as for uh, auditioning, it was very unique and very sort of Casual and easy, yeah. I'm going to translate it. Kaisa tha jab Raga isne Prashant ne chule audition kiya tha? Pahli baar to mujhe dal lag raha tha. Or mujhe vishwas nahi kar pa raha tha ki mujhe kisi film ke liye ye log select kar rahe. First he was feeling very nervous and had uh, some fear. Why are these people coming to me and why are they talking to me about a film? <laughs> <laughs> So they, we had uh, initially from a pool of 50, 40, 50 kids uh, or guys, uh, we had them together and he used to look around and he was the uh, shortest one. <laughs> He's saying that uh, he knows in his heart that no one can fly a kite like he can, so he knew he was going to get the role. you need a memory shot in CinemaScope. So many people are here. Enjoy the screening. We'll be back afterwards for the Q&A.